absolutely nothing in the scene exists, not even the water. There's not a, the water you see is all fake. So we had the benefit of not having to incorporate production track and balance it or balance it against music. So as a result, it's a fun little, uh, you know, fun little piece for, for sound effects editors to have fun with and uh, put in all the whiz bangs we can find. <laughs> When we started out, I thought like, oh my god, flying fish, their, fl their, their wings flap. Well, they don't. They're basically sails. They open up, they deploy, and they stay open, and they're, they're propelled by, they're thrust out of the water by their tail. So that was kind of a drag, because I was all psyched about having this really cool flappy sound. Um, <laughs> which I snuck in, in the, in the perspective of the flying fish going after the albacore. Um, and that's actually a kite ruffling, a, uh, a polymer type kite flapping in the breeze at a super high rate, just like, like a buzz almost. We wanted to give it shape. Uh, I did anyway, sonically, to have like Doppler type elements. So uh, I, I've said this to a couple of audiences. Uh, I've recorded bugs in my Jeep uh, with the mic going past by like huge cicada swells or individual uh, um, uh, cricket swells. But while recording my passing by, they actually have a Doppler type effect where their pitch changes over time. And you, a lot of that's in there. And Ang kind of, his ear, he, he got into that. And so we developed that even further. No! Foley gave me um, basically a, a, uh, a surgical glove flapping, like that. And that's great, right? Yeah, that'll really make it work. So what Sam, what I had Sam do was take those, uh, those static elements, which were good sounds, and have them shape sound like they're passing by and we use a couple of plugins uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we develop that sound. So it, it, there's, there's quite a bit going on in there. Just to give you a kind of an idea, I want to say we had about um, 50 tracks, 50 mono and stereo tracks on that just to create that, just the movement of the, of the, the flying fish themselves, let alone anything else. So that's, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sounds we use to create that. So to say it's one thing, it's a, you know, this, it's such a huge amount of thing. And, and like, you know, what Eugene has always kind of impressed upon me is that idea of shape, um, of giving something a definite shape. A sound is great, fine, but if you don't give it that shape that kind of makes it interesting to the ear and make it go, oh, that, that fits, that fits that flying fish going by, it's, it's useless. So it's that idea of sometimes, well, that's not what they technically make, but we created it by giving them that interesting shape. 